Women are a remarkable force to be reckoned with. Hi. This is Sophia. I'm nine months. As athletes. <laughs> Normally on a Monday, I'd probably go either practice or go play nine holes, but today it's just going to figure out where we're staying, go get her bed set up, you know, things to do than just coming in and playing golf. As daughters. Yeah. As mothers. You say go? <laughs> we're going to go find Miss Sophia, her pack and play to sleep in. And we probably should have come in yesterday just to have one extra day, but we've played this course before, so it should be okay. Okay. We're just going to take this one. Because this looks like a nice one. Time to get back in our car. As trailblazers. We don't even need to buy toys. We just have paper. Are we ready? He said bye. The LPGA Tour heads east to New Jersey for the next stop in the race to the CME Globe. A season that will see events played around the globe and over $101 million in prize money. A celebration of the women who got this tour off and running. A season that will hatch promising careers. I'm just happy to play good golf. When I play good golf, I'm happy. Being out here right now, that's what success is. A season that will elevate players onto the mantle of history. This ain't the PGA Tour, that's why there's six of us in this house. <laughs> A season that will change lives and with it, a monthly series bringing you those stories. Grace is, she's a miracle. She's a reflection of your love. An inside look at the dreams being chased week in and week out on tour. There's a calm in the air as the Cognizant Bounders Cup descends upon the range of Upper Montclair Country Club in Clifton, New Jersey. Most of the field coming off a week of rest after a grueling spring stretch. Eight-time tour winner Brittany Lincecombe is still knocking the competition rest off, having only played five events since giving birth to her daughter, Sophia, this past August. I'm playing toys. I have to do an interview at one. I don't know if I'll get her before and bring her with me to that or just get her after, like, 1.30. Okay, tiny girl. You have fun playing toys. I'll see you later, okay? Bye, Bar. Thank you. Hurry and go to the tee before anybody else does. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> what a lovely morning. It is nice. This is my 19th year on tour, so when I turned pro back in the day, I'd never imagined like being out here this long. Now, you know, married, mom of two, you have a bad day. I'm like, you know what? I have a beautiful daughter inside. I'm gonna go get her, I'm gonna give her hugs, and like the world will be better, but Still golf irritates the crap out of me and I just want to do better. I want to be better and show them how good I was at one time. I still have like the fire and still want to be good at what I do and be competitive and my priorities are a little bit different, but it's still, still great and I can still compete with these girls and still be a mom at the same time. <laughs> a win on Mother's Day would be pretty cool. That would be cool, yeah. I want to win when one or both girls can like run out on the green, you know, that'd be like the coolest thing ever. I mean, if you could just hit it there every day, you'd yeah, be fine. Yeah, do that. Yeah, really nice. That's not what happens every day. It's hard to miss Angel Yen as she arrives to the golf course. Say I won a tournament and they give me the microphone and I speak in front of like... The crowd. Yes. Oh, but that's normal. I don't think anyone. <laughs> hey, thanks. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good seeing you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's good seeing I'm you. Just watching you being super star. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm so, proud of you. so it's really good to be happy. <laughs> don't ever take a year off and try to come back because it, it won't go well. <laughs> 
did good though. I'm just socializing with people. It's yeah. tough for me. <laughs> you do it well. I mean, I've been out here for seven years and I haven't gotten a win on the LPGA, which I feel like where, where my game is and everything should have happened, but I've always been pretty close. Last month in Houston, Angel captured the golf world with her smile, her charisma, and her game. I'll win, <laughs> let me win, and then I'll do anything. <laughs> All right. Does it, do I sound desperate with that? No, I... Uh, okay. <laughs> what I learned from Chevron is I'm playing good. <laughs> game is there, showing up. I just need to stay patient. Just never really like found my swing. The swing was a little off, but I kept it together. Oh. Oh, no. She couldn't have left it in a worse spot. And then towards the end, I misread. And a bad club decision. That was it. <laughs> Actually, two bad club decisions. Because playoff, too little club. It's like five. Five at 18. Yeah. It came in heartbreaking fashion. A water ball on the 73rd hole of play, an angel shot at being a major champion slipped from her hands. So two back club decisions, but that's it. That's sometimes all it is. I'm just happy to play good golf. When I play good golf, I'm happy. That's pretty much it. I'm like a kid, gets candy. As long as they get candy, it's fine. You just want to do something that you really like, and that's really rare. Not everyone has the opportunity Hey, an opportunity to do so, because we have other reasons in life and obligations in life. Sometimes we just don't have the freedom of choice. It's just a, such a tight ferry. Between here and here, it's like 20, 25 yards. Very yeah, good shot. To me right now, what success is, is building my relationship with my mom, building my relationship with golf, enjoying tour life, which I didn't really enjoy because it was so much traveling, but I'm really enjoying it. Building my relationship with the people I care about that are in my life. And that's what success means to me. And it's a good feeling. It always makes you feel very happy. And I think that's why also I'm happier these days instead of so, uh, so sad. Deep dive in Angel's life. That's it. That's looking good. Yeah, just Strong. like me. Strong like Angel. Wins to me is just like a bonus in life now. Being out here right now, that's what success is. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Stop, stop, <laughs> stop that stop. train. Black dog, see a man try to find a way to move. Hickle really take time, don't show you how to do it. Even through it, I'll stay strong, don't lose it. Even through it, I'll stay strong, don't lose it. The tournament this week is about celebrating women in honor of the 13 founders of the LPGA Tour, who not only blazed a trail on the game, but in their community as well. This week, players are channeling some of those values as their fundraising efforts are focused in on some of their own. Former tour professional Jane Park, her husband and LPGA Tour caddy Pete Godfrey, and their daughter Grace who developed epilepsy and a severe brain injury at only 10 months old. This is our signature Saving Grace fundraiser. This is the third year we've done this. We've created a fun, interactive, meet and greet fundraising experience. It's just so important for us to be able to show the women in our community that we support them. And then when something like this happens and it separates you from your career and your and your passion and your journey, then we want to be able to be there to help them. And that's kind of why we really wanted to step in and help Jane and help Grace. Oh, so Little fundraisers like this that help them even a small bit, it's just great to, to be able to give back to our fellow competitors. Grace is my two and a half, nearly three-year-old daughter. And she is honestly a miracle because we almost lost her two years ago. The second that Grace got sick, Christina Thompson started this foundation and it has been monumental in our care for Grace. She required 24-hour care once she got sick. I had to cut my career short. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way because she's definitely first and foremost in our lives. 
I see about 48 in the top 50 in this morning's new Rolex rankings. I think that is a testament to the camaraderie and the love that this tour has for the folks that we are here to honor tonight. Jane, Pete, and Grace mean the absolute world to us, and I know that everyone here loves them just as much as I do, and just as much as Christina does. Would you please welcome Jane Clark. Honestly, we're just so overwhelmed with so much love and um, appreciation for what you guys do for us. I know how busy your schedules are. I've obviously played with you, been your peer, and I really miss you. I never thought I would be in a room with you guys again. Grace is, she's a miracle, honestly. She's a reflection of your love for us, and she, you guys are honestly the reason why we have made it this far. Just thank you so much. We're just so happy to celebrate her life, but also we're just so honored to be here amongst our peers again. There's definitely a lot of them that love her, and we're very thankful. Oh my God. On Wednesday, as last looks are given to the course in the Pro-Am, baby Sophia gets her first taste of the spotlight. This year being great, Brittany. Now I have two daughters, uh -huh. including your newest, Sophia. Yep. Um, bringing her out here. How incredible of an opportunity is this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She's going to answer it. Yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, I wasn't sure how it was going to work, you know, traveling with two or bringing both of them. Thank you. Um, <laughs> But it's just great. It's just nice to have the opportunity to be able to still play golf professionally and then have, you know, one or two, both of them out if I want them out. Um, yay, Sophia. Um, but it's just so rewarding just to like, good day, bad day, to come see their smiling faces after the round. It's just, it's the best. Angel Yen is probably more excited than most to tee it up in the Pro-Am this week. But that's because she's got a special group of people on the course with her. I met the greatest people here last year at the Pro-Am, the Hickey family. They're a member here, actually. Played at Pro-Am with them. It's just really cool, and they're just really lovely people. We met last year at this event. Um, first time we've ever played in the Pro-Am here, and she was our pro. And we were, you know, obviously not knowing much about her. It's not like her personality comes out on TV that much. She bombs it. The moment we saw her, I think we were all like, ah, oh. it was just so much fun. Wow. That's really good. We can make that. Get in. There we go. Nice. I always tell people the story about when we, the first, what was it, Thursday, after we played the Pro-Am, and we saw you on the front nine, and we're coming around, you're on the tee box, waiting and we're standing like at the end of the car path and you're like hey <laughs> and she goes come here are you guys thirsty and we're like shh <laughs> we're telling her to be quiet Wait, like, this a is tournament. a golf tournament yeah. <laughs> they've become like my family too so that's why i really really personally enjoy pro-ams because you get to meet so many characters i think those are the gems in life all right okay ready Family, the ones we are born with or the ones we choose to surround ourselves with. That's what makes us into who we are, into the daughters, the sisters, the friends, the mentors, and the mothers the world, golf and otherwise, need. Oh yeah, let's go see our friends. Hi, baby! Frida Schindel, 154 off. So this is our house this week. Our female caddy, two player, and then caddy house. You like that puppy, huh? Yeah, you like that doggy. We got a house full, huh? Which is nice, everyone help a tiny. Everyone loves tiny. 
I would say for the majority, we all travel together and stay in houses week to week mm -hmm. because we like to eat healthier and uh, yeah. cooking <laughs> saves money. This ain't the PGA Tour. That's why there's six of us in this house. Because <laughs> we all like each other. And we do. Why do you not want to stay with people? I mean, it's like, Thank you. I didn't go to college, but I feel like this would be like a story. Yeah. Now traveling as a group, obviously you'll see we'll pass around the baby to everybody, which is nice because obviously then I don't have to hold her the whole time or always be the one watching her. So everyone just loves her and they we pass her around. Jackie is the best babysitter. <laughs> Jackie's a former professional. She yeah. is. Former professional nanny. nanny. Yep. She's a retired nanny. A retired nanny. Holly's the chef of the group. Holly's sure. definitely the best. She's definitely chef, chef Holly. Yep. <laughs> Missy was my caddy for almost 10 years, 10 years. until this year. And then she was retired. Semi retired. Probably my favorite Britney story. Uh oh. Is, no, uh, ANA, no. when you won, and we were talking about it on 18, oh. down what we're down to going in the last, talk about it, decide on a four iron. And she always loves to do the, the flash to the camera on, on what club, and she flashes five, and I'm like, <laughs> look at it. Okay, we were talked about four, agreed on four. She hit five to 10 feet, made her eagle, <laughs> moved on to win. Whoops. Yep, that's how Brittany points. <laughs> Listens about a third of the time. <laughs> Balancing your professional and personal life is difficult for any athlete who travels as much as these women. That's why these timeouts are so cherished before that round one tea time comes calling in the morning. Next on the tee from St. Petersburg, Florida, please welcome Brittany Lincecum. Fight for your dreams, better go to war. Every Thursday begins with the same blank slate. Identical scorecards, clean and ready to mark with red and black for birdies and bogeys. A little rocky kind of start, I had a couple three putts. Race to the top and you all in first, but the prey don't drop and you fall in search. I had seven birdies, four bogeys. I was a little scattered with my golf round. For each 18 holes they play, the cards begin to differ, each becoming a customized view of how the round went. Circles for the good holes and squares for the bad ones. Had a lot of mistakes that I felt like I could have avoided. Had a few putts that were just slipping out and thought that were gonna go in. I mean, it's all right there. One under is not bad. Anything under par every day, I feel like, is pretty good. Just kind of work up the leaderboard as we go. But no matter the player, the goal remains the same, to make sure that their combination of numbers is good enough to get them from 36 holes to 72. 100,000 on the table, what you gonna do? That's the kind of problem I would like to run into. But what it take to take it home, that's where the challenge at. When you get it, better flip it like an acrobat. It started kind of slow again. I don't know, I just need to get off to a better start. I think in the beginning I had a couple bogeys and everything was just kind of like, we're going through the motions. And it just kind of kick jumped my, my back nine. I had a really good back nine, finally made some putts, read the greens right. Um, but all in all, I think it was a pretty good day. Angel Yin, 13th hole of the day. Oh. I just think the back nine is a little harder to make birdies, so I was quite happy. And then I got really tired making the turn. So I kind of just tumbled into the clubhouse and made two bogeys, a little loose mistakes, and just was tired. I've taken so much time off, so trying to get back into a rhythm of, of playing and competing again at the highest level hasn't been easy. I'm happy where I am going into the weekend, see how I play. A wonderful shot from Angel Yin. From Clifton, New Jersey, it's third round coverage of the Cognizant Founders Cup. Saturday, moving day. Minji Lee to tie the lead. The best rounds really start to set themselves apart. I love you. But some numbers on the scorecard become too big to overcome. Really one bad hole today, and other than that, it wasn't as bad. After a triple bogey on the second hole of the day, the momentum stalled for Brittany, and a third round 78 knocked her out of contention. Can't wait to go get Sophia, give her a hug, and then 
kind of forget about today. Tomorrow's obviously a new day. Go get some good food, get some good sleep. Hopefully the game will just come right back like it should. Angel Yen Saturday features familiar faces in the crowd. Support from the Hickey family. It's fun. She's playing some lights out golf right now. It's hard to admit, but last year I was like on the golf course and I was just on the first tee and I was like, I hit my shot. I'm in the fair. I'm like, I'm bored. Like, this is just not fun anymore. That's really sad to think about because then it's like, why are you doing it? It's like, what are you doing it for? It makes you really contemplate about what, what are you doing in life. We just play putting really well today. So she's obviously striking the ball great. She always does. Really enjoying it out there, playing golf. Being enjoyable makes it a lot easier. That's a great shot. She likes it. And this to take the lead. Minji Lee leads at the Cognizant Founders Cup. Defending champion Minji Lee built a three shot lead. But any player who's been here knows that going into the final round, anything is possible. Angel Yen at the 18th. This golf course. You have to be consistent, you have to be patient, and there's nothing else you can really do. I know 100% greens are gonna be tough, because the greens itself is tough. Stay patient, put my golf. All right, Angel. Thanks. <laughs> I know, I could have done better. Putting was really great today, so I think that's what really made her score what it is. Oh, if you win, by the way, um, you have to take that stuff. Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. I just want the trophy. That's all you want? Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I know. Oh, aren't you so cute? Look what she made me. How cute. Oh, slip. Oh, Starbucks. Oh, my gosh. It's like they know me well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's already an artist. <laughs> How fun. Brittany is the first off on Sunday morning and finishes her round before the leaders arrive on site. Not an ideal position for a final round, but for today, Mother's Day, it's just what she needs. Now I have the rest of the day to hang out with Sophia. It's just great to be, you know, with family on this special day, Mother's Day. I haven't had very many. They're very special to me still. It definitely feels rusty getting back to it, but obviously making, you know, cut after cut is it's good for my confidence and hopefully we can keep that momentum going. Through 54 holes, Angel finds herself in familiar territory to where she was only weeks ago. In the final group with her first win within grasp. This golf course is just not a course where you can just go for it because it's very challenging and there are designated holes where you make birdie. For example, like 12, I made a par, that's like a bogey. Despite staying near the top of the leaderboard for much of the day, Angel struggled to get herself into the driver's seat while the leaderboard consistently reshuffled around her. Now Minji Lee, she's got it. Back into a tie for the lead. Ashley Buhai to 11 under. This is Heiran Yu at the 17th. So she's gonna drop a shot. Jin Young Ko for birdie. Wow! Jin Young Ko has tied the lead. It's not good when you, you go into 16, one under, and then you decide to double it. Bogeying that hole, fine. You know what, whatever. It's just a really tough hole on 18, had 100 yards into the green. I hit my 56 that goes 105 yards and it goes into the bunker, so I went 80 yards. Like, it just like, doesn't make any sense. She thought she hit that perfect. That's where it's frustrating. Playing the last group, being there, actually in contention for a little bit most of the round and actually playing solid golf is good. Nothing really happened to me today, but for 15 holes, it was really good. 
That'll drop her back into a tie for fifth. The entire day didn't really like go my my way. That's just golf, which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> <sighs> It's the bonds that are cultivated each week that make golf unique. <laughs> oh, it's always great to see you, honey. <laughs> the teamwork that surrounds a mother raising her girls. <laughs> the support that comes from the people always in your corner. And now Jin Young Ko, just this putt for her 15th LPGA Tour title. And the camaraderie that means you never celebrate alone. <laughs>